Here in Mexico City, IBF junior bantamweight champion Julio Cesar Barboa will defend his title for the first time against a fellow countryman, Joel Luna Zarata, as Cedric Kushner and MNET Supersports brings you World Championship Boxing. Hi, everybody. Sam Smith, and welcome to El Torreo. This is a converted bull ring here in Mexico City, and the World Championship fight is coming up as our main event later tonight. Right now, Noye Santiago steps into the ring. This is a young man that will challenge the champion for the Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship. And the champion, undefeated in 28 fights, is ready to make his entry into this arena. Marco Antonio Barrera, a champion that would like to extend his 28-0 record and also add to 22 knockouts. They're saying that these two guys have been on a collision course all throughout their amateur career. And now an opportunity for, first of all, Barrera to defend his title and Santiago to try to capture that title here tonight before, as you can hear, a vocal crowd in Mexico City. Santiago's been waiting for this moment for quite a while. His record at 24-4 and 2 with eight knockouts. Great concentration on that side. And how about the other side for the champion? You bet. Barrera is ready for his chance to defend his Mexican junior bantamweight title. It'll be interesting here at El Torreo to decide which side this crowd is going to start choosing up on. Will it be the champion Barrera? The young man that is wearing the white trunks with the red stripe on the left, as you see there, or the taller challenger in Santiago. You can see the good straight left jab of Santiago already coming out. Again, he does enjoy about a three-inch height advantage. Also a couple-inch reach advantage. Let's see if he's able to use it against Barrera here in Mexico City. Barrera unbeaten in 28 fights, again with 22 knockouts. And he bides his time as Santiago is the man that's taking the fight here early on. A big right hook, hook by Barrera is the big key weapon that he would try to throw, and he does throw it behind the jab. You saw him with a left hook that time as he tried to lead with that against Santiago. Santiago feeding that good left jab. The judges will be impressed with that before the night is over. Barrera already starting to back down Santiago a bit here in the early goings of round number one as we approach the halfway part. Rivera is the national champion has been traveling throughout the entire country of Mexico. He lives right here in Mexico City, as does Santiago, making a lot of public appearances, getting himself well known, as he too would like to climb to the heights as a world champion, and with that 28 and 0 record, could have a very good chance of doing so. You start to see the champion Barrera in the white with the red stripe, starting to back up the challenger now. Santiago felt that getting off first was going to be the key for him. You saw him come out the start of round one. Now with a minute to go in this first round, he's starting to get clocked pretty good with the combination thrown by the champion Barrera, who is now starting to stalk his prey in the first round of this fight. Low crouching style there by Barrera. Santiago again the more tall of the two he's five foot nine and a half he's the lighter of the two fighters coming to ring time tonight 113 and a half for 51.4 kilos 52 and six on the other side for Barrera at an even 115 pounds. Good combination thrown by Santiago. As we near the end of round number one of a scheduled 12 rounder for the Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship from Mexico City. Oh. Who is the more taller of the two has been standing in a very upright position. Watch as he starts to crouch a little bit more. Because as Barrera goes down, Santiago goes down trying to throw left hooks to the head. And you'll see him getting a little more crouch before this fight is over. We have 20 seconds to go in the round, and Barrera is starting to land some punches again. Santiago, unofficially losing a first round on the cards, came out aggressively, but held up in the latter part of the round, giving Barrera a chance to score 
and he's done it again here in round number two of their championship fight for the Mexican Junior Bantamweight title. Oh, Antonio Barrera in the white with the red trunks. Two solid rounds on my unofficial card. He's got a 20 to 18 lead, getting both the rounds on a 10-9 must system as he fights against Santiata, the taller of the two fighters with the white with the blue. Santiata also out of Mexico City, as is Barrera. Both enjoying very successful amateur careers. Barrera, very successful in Mexico and equally as good in the pros at 28 and 0. And the current junior bantamweight champion of Old Mexico. The referee, Glencito Perez, having a little trouble separating these two guys. They've been aiming for each other for quite a while from the amateurs and now as pros. And they finally get their chance here at the El Terreo. They convert it inside bull ring here in Mexico City. There's a warning from referee Perez for holding on Santiago. Santiago is also doing one thing. He's being a standing target, even though he's bouncing, bobbing, and weaving. He's standing right in front of Barrera. Got to get some angles. Got to try to throw some punches from the side. You see him moving to the left there, and he's able to score with that left jab. It also forces the champion Barrera to hit a moving target. Referee Perez will be an active figure in this ring tonight as we're halfway through this, the third round. Good digging shots by Barrera to the body. One might have strayed just a little bit low. He does like that uppercut inside either the body of the head and came with a good right hand to the face of Santiago. You can hear the crowd starting to get a little bit more into this fight now as Santiago. Comes with those counter punches off of Barrera's attacking style underneath to the body and then upstairs to the head. This crowd will start picking their favorite soon and you, without a doubt, will hear them before the night is over, I'm sure. Santiago is not a knockout puncher and his 24 wins has only eight wins by knockouts. Sharp contrast in the other side, Barrera will knock you down and out. Out of his 28 wins, he has 22 knockouts. So Santiago has to be very, very careful in not running into the right hand of Barrera. So nothing has strategically changed through three. On the right, continues to work hard as we near the end of round three. More underway of this Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship. It's a shutout so far in the unofficial card of Barrera against Santiago. Santiago, the taller of the two on the right, has tried to use the left jab, walk in with a right hook, but it has been countered very nicely by the attacking style of Barrera. And there you see how he's done it with the combinations. The reaped advantage of Santiago, he has not been able to use that much outside of the first minute of round one. Barrera has been able to walk right through it. Combination missing by the champion, Barrera. There's that uppercut. Again, continues to score. You can see the head of the challenger kind of snapping back. And then Barrera climbs right in on top of him. <laughs> Referee warning for a hole inside. Referee Perez is our other voice. You'll be hearing on the fight tonight from Mexico City. Warning again, Santiago, who had been warned earlier for holding, and cautions him once again. Santiago's corner would like to see him, after he draws Barrero in, to again take a counter step either way, either left or right, preferably moving to his right and loading up with a left jab and then followed by a right cross or a hook. Barrera, of course, as you see, has kind of thrown caution to the wind when he comes in. Does not come in jabbing, he comes in throwing left hooks or right hooks. 
And Santiago would have to kind of counter that by stepping with some angles to the left or right. You can see him starting to turn the tables a bit on the champion by starting to chase him around the ring. Barrera is now starting to counter off of whatever Santiago is throwing at him. One minute to go in round four. No sign of frustration on the face of either fighter. They've pretty much done what they wanted to do in this fight. Barrero letting Santiago come at him early in the fight and then kind of taking control. Backing the challenger up on the ropes and unloading a couple of good shots to the body again. Good double left jab that time by the champion. Barrero got in on the challenger. No way backing up towards the ropes, a place he does not want to station himself here tonight against the champion Barrera, but there he is again. Barrera, however, continues to let him off the hook. He throws three or four or five punches in there and then backs up and lets Santiago come into the center of the ring as the bell sounds to end round four. Junior Bantamweight champion Sam Smith here at the El Torreo in Mexico City as the champion Barrera in the white with the red trucks has had solid control since the beginning of this fight and now Santiago the challenger trying to force the issue again in round five uppercuts to the body over the head right hands have been the main weapons for Barrera so far in this fight Santiago not able to use that height or reach advantage there that time you saw him use a little bit of taking some angles and you hear how well the crowd warms up when he does something against the champion well, if he could get something going here in round five in the middle rounds he certainly would have the fan support behind him here in Mexico City both fighters are from the metropolitan area and both had their defined uh, crowds here at the El Torreo. Barrera not able to get off as many punches, particularly throwing that uppercut. As Santiago's put a little bit more movement in his fighting style here in round number five. Barrera with just the left hook as the lead. Just the left jab, throwing it out there, seeing what Santiago might do. See if he does go on the angles left or right. And then Barrera would try to counter and attack him that way. There's one thing Barrera is doing for the challenger. He's giving him a very squared up target. You can see he kind of turns those shoulders right square to the target. Throws rather casual left right hands with a slow combination. That time the combination worked. It got inside with a crisp right hand off the jaw of Santiago. And again Santiago just not getting off first. He's being fed that combination even though he is the aggressor in this round and may be close to winning one of his first rounds he has all night long if he can throw some punches. So we've got about a half a minute to go in this round. The judges will like his aggressive style, but they also will be punch counting, and he has not thrown a lot counter to what Barrera has thrown at him in this, the fifth round. Scheduled for 12 for the Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship. As Cedric Kushner, along in conjunction with Mnet Super Sports, brings you World Championship Boxing from Mexico City. You're watching Sports Channel bringing you the latest news and information of the hour. Hello, I'm Emerald Ye, New Center 4. Memorial Day was marked across the country with parades and services. In San Francisco's Presidio, bands and veterans marched from the parade grounds to the cemetery, where they held a ceremony that included a 21-gun salute and a wreath laying at the grave of the unknown soldier. Side, but you can see the good almost a peekaboo defense by Barrera, not giving the champion a chance to get inside are the challengers gives me a chance to get inside much here at all throughout this fight unofficially on the card Barrera has not lost a round even though the last round I scored it almost an even round as a matter of fact at 10 10 
and was undoubtedly the better round by Santiago. He did not throw enough punches to win the round, but did enough to try to counter the aggressive style of Barrera to at least back him up. And now the tables have turned again. Barrera with a combination. Santiago trying to fight him off on the ropes. So whatever advantage he may have gained in round five, he's losing it here in round six. Santiago gets him back out in the middle of the ring. Actually, Barrera, once he gets him in trouble on the ropes, is letting him off the hook and kind of backing into the center of the ring where he wants to fight, even though he's having great success on the ropes with the challenger. Halfway through the sixth round. And we'll be at the midway point of a scheduled 12-rounder here for the Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship. Herrera again coming in the heavier of the two, 115 to 113 and a half earlier at the weigh-in. No problem with the conditioning on either side, though. That will not be a problem if indeed we do go 12. Now you can see Santiago on the ropes with Barrera with his backs to the ropes, and he's not doing anything, just totally inactive and letting Barrera just easily fight out of what problems he might have been in. And the crowd starting to cheer for their favorites right now. Once one camp comes up, the other one follows suit. There you see some pretty good uppercuts by Santiago. Not a lot of steam on them, but at least they're there. But Barrera starting to coast a little bit himself here in round six. There again, you see, kind of backs him back out in the middle of the ring. Feels he wants to definitely box with him, not brawl. That's not where Barrera wants to be. Even though his style would more benefit an inside game of a brawl than that of the taller Santiago, but Barrera wants no part of it tonight. Junior Bantamweight Championship. Barrera in the white with a red stripe. Santiago, the young man who has come on challenging, fought well in the seventh round, and now he hopes to make things better for him in round number eight. He clearly won the seventh round on our unofficial cards, but still is well behind Barrera, who controlled particularly the first five rounds, then may have got an even round in the sixth, and again the win by Santiago in round number seven has even up this fight a bit. And you can see the challenger seems to be a little bit more aggressive, and the crowd definitely starting to get behind him. Barrero seems to have taken his challenge quite well. As you can see, him starting to become a little bit more aggressive. Combination backs the challenger towards the ropes. And now the followers of Barrera from Mexico City start to get their conversation well known as far as a vociferous backing of the champion. At reach advantage by Santiago is starting to be used again. You saw him. Use that little left jab to kind of back up the champion, Barrera. Barrera again kind of backing down. He was very active at the start of this round. Now he's backed up a bit as far as his aggression are, particularly the throwing of the number of punches. Santiano also has backed down on the punches he threw early on at seventh round, clearly. A benchmark for him. He would like to accomplish many more of those before this fight's over to get right back in it. A four-point fight unofficially on my card here at ringside. This is where Barbera pretty much tried to stay out of early on. You may recall he would get inside and battle where he is right now. Then he'd quickly back off almost to the point of letting Santiago off the hook. Elected to fight in the middle of the round, but now you can see he's starting to try to get inside to try to send some more body punches to Santiago, who's trying to keep him at bay with that left jab. He also has started to square around and has switched a little bit. He is fighting southpaw right now. And, of course, the switch right and left, so he is able to go either way. And has done so with great regularity. He's back to the right-hand style again for Santiago. A good strategy by the challenger. Stop, stop. 
World Championship Boxing. Brought to you by Cedric Kushner Production in conjunction with Inmat Super Sports. Sam Smith with you. As Marco Antonio Barrera, he's the champion with his back to you right now, fights Noy Santiago. Both fighters from Mexico City. Barrera unbeaten 28-0 with 22 knockouts. The champion, Santiago, at 24-4-2 with only eight knockouts. The lighter of the two fighters at 113 and a half compared to 115 for Barrera. But the fight has started to turn around a little bit. It's been all Barrera early on. Santiago came with an even fifth round. Lost the sixth unofficially, but the seventh and the eighth were very solid rounds, and the crowd is starting to feel that he's back in the fight now. Herrera still stalking, but not throwing as many punches as he did early on. Not a fatigue factor. Santiano's just been able to cover up until Barrera got inside and landed several punches. Several of those caught on the elbows, but look at him work. The champion's back in the game again. Well, I tell you, that left hook is a big weapon. He's using it as a lead left right now. No longer trying to jab his way in. That lead left hook is followed by the right hand. Two outstanding amateurs climbing their way all the way up into the professional ranks. And now with Barrera, the national junior bantamweight champion here in New Mexico. And Santiago trying to win the title away from him here at El Torreo. A converted bull ring inside in Mexico City. You can see a little extra Vaseline over the left eye of the champion Barrera as he too has a little abrasion that could open up into a cut. Cut on the outside of the right eye. The challenger has been pretty much contained so far in this fight. And Barrera has been very active in round nine. About 40 seconds to go to the end of the round. Santiago almost to the point, as you saw a moment ago, setting back, letting Barrera come to him, but not countering as he needs to do so to score because he's still down on the unofficial cards. There again, Barrera got what he needed inside, backs up, and there he throws the good combination. Santiago took both of those in the combination, tries to dig some uppercuts to back him up as the bell ends round nine. Research. Barrera, Barrera in the white with the red stripe, trying to defend his title here in Mexico City. He has a lead on the unofficial cards. Santiago has come back to make it a fight, though, and he continues to stalk. Barrera will elect to stand and fight in this round, it appears, as we begin round number 10. The crowd seem to be rather lukewarm in the early rounds, but they have certainly warmed from round five on. Both these fighters from Mexico City, and they have a good following on both sides. You see the straight right hand of Barrera as he too fighting a little bit out of a southpaw stance a moment ago. Back to the right hand. And Santiano both doing just about the same as you saw Santiano's turning back into the southpaw stance. But he'll switch right back into a right handed stance here quickly. He feels comfortable that he's landing well enough from this side. There he goes. He switches back to the right hand now. Now switches back to the southpaw. Santiago starting to land more of those punches on that left eye that's starting to puff and swell a little more of the champion Barrera. Not only an accumulation of punches, but also a clash of heads, as you see there. Could have started that left eye to swell on Barrera on the right. And you can hear the crowd as they start to get in it here in the fight. A 
Herrera now starting to get inside but not working as hard as he was early on. And the cry for Noe. Noe Santiana. And his followers are certainly hoping he has enough to overtake the champion here, Barrera, for the title. And right now, so far, so good in round 10. Behind, but not out. And Barrera, who anticipated a solid fight tonight, is getting everything and that more in this fight tonight to defend his title. Santiago doing a good job of cutting off the ring on Barrera. Closing seconds of the 10th round. It appears these junior bantamweights are heading for at least the 11th and maybe the distance tonight here in Mexico City. Well, quickly to start the 11th round of the scheduled 12 round Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship. Barrera is the champion of the white and the red. He is now being challenged by Santiago. Down to a three-point fight on our card, as low as two on some of the other cards we have been looking at around ringside. The left hook thrown by Barrera. A left hand again by the challenger inside. How much stamina, how much steam does either one of these young men have? They both are well conditioned. You can see right at the 115 limit for Barrera. 113 and a half by Santiago. And have prepared themselves to go a full 12 rounds, even though most of Barrera's fights, 22 of his 28 fights have ended in a knockout. Only eight of the 24 wins by Santiago have ended early. One minute gone in round 11. A little bit of a stalemate in this round after again Santiago had come on strong at the ends of round 9 and 10 to close down the gap. At one time it was almost a shutout being thrown by Barrera, particularly through the first four rounds. The fifth round may have been a turning point. Santiago stood in and fought. Almost got an even round. I scored it even here. Then Barrera came back to win the sixth round, but from that time on, it's been ebb and flow, with Santiago certainly getting back in the fight with a chance to win. Barrera also has gotten a little bit away from that tight crouch style that he used early on, going a little bit wider with the punches, not so, so straight or crisp for the punches he enjoyed. Another warning for holding on both fighters and also to break the clinch cleanly. A minute to go in round 11. You can start to see that cut on the outside of the right eye of Santiago. Now the blood is starting to trickle into the eye and that's a problem for him. The referee and the doctors more than likely will take a little look at that between rounds, but it's not something at this stage that could stop this fight. Good exchange by the champion Barrera and the challenger in the center of the ring here in Mexico City. And after battling 11 rounds, they'll settle in their corners for a one minute rest as a title fight tonight. Bantamweight Championship, the touch of the gloves, Barrera and Santiago. That's the last time they'll be friendly of each other for at least three minutes now. As Santiago, the challenger, on the left with the white with the blue stripe, has to do everything he can to try to steal it away. Barrera has fought brilliantly in this fight at times, but let down in the mid-round. Santiago got back into the fight. The crowd got behind him. And now in the 12th round, Barrera has to solidly put it away on our unofficial of cards goes to the round up by only three points again. The problem with Santiago, particularly in the late rounds, has not been able to box well enough to steal around. The best he can do is go even after taking a couple of the mid rounds, and that's been his problem. Barrera, you see, countering very well. Also trying to get off a little more frequently as the first puncher. And it's timing the style of the champion 
of the challenger, excuse me, who has to try to come back here in the 12th hey, round. Hey, hey, hey. And again, both fighters warned for holding. Barrera looks as sharp in this round as we've seen him almost from the early part of this fight. Picking his shots, good combination, hitting, moving. Certainly what a champion is supposed to be, and he is certainly turning it on here. There you see those body shots. They were almost missing in the mid-rounds. Santiago once again doing whatever he can to try to retaliate. You see Barrera just trying to stall the time and lean on the ropes. Good straight right hand thrown by the champion. Referee, Gencio Perez has had himself some handful in both of these junior bantamweights. At times, they have been a little bit defiant to break, have been holding. Both have been worn. No points have been deducted, and neither fighter has been down in this fight. Herrera with 22 knockouts. You would expect him to possibly put the challenger down, but Noe has been able to stay away from him for the most part here in this fight as we're a half a minute away from the end of round 12. And the champion Barrera continues to feed him left-right combinations as he tries to put a punctuation mark on this, his title offense in Mexico City. What's ahead for both of these junior bantamweights? Well, quite obviously for the loser. Has to kind of suck up the pride for the winner. No matter which one comes out as the victor here tonight, certainly there is a bigger and better fight down the road as the bell sounds, and that's it. At the end of 12 here in Mexico City, they fought. And now it's up to the judges to decide if indeed this man, Santiago, has come on and challenged well enough to steal the title away, or has Barrera been able to fight well enough to retain his Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship? And the 12th round, they have told the story. Santiago tried to get off first, but watch how well Barrera counters off of that. On the ropes, must have got six, seven, eight, nine punches in, and all of the winging punches went nowhere but into space. For Santiago, pretty much telling you the story of this one as the bell sounds to end this championship fight. The damage by the champion, beautiful left hook thrown in there. Barrera, you can see when he keeps his punches short, concise, and on target. Even late in the fight, he had some good steam on those punches, and Santiago was taking most of the punishment throughout. He continued to try to pursue in that last round, but to no avail. Whatever he threw, Barrera was able to counter with two and three punches right back at him. And now the announcement for the officials as they will announce this decision of this fight. As again, both fighters anticipating a victory. Barrera trying to defend his title in this fight tonight. Barrera up on one card. Barra, Barrera getting up on the second card. And there you have an indication, and there is the official announcement that Marco Antonio Barrera has scored on all three of the cards. A unanimous decision here as he retains his Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship, much to the chagrin across the way of Noe Santiana and many in the crowd because they felt their men came on and fought very well. But at the end of the fight, it was too little, too late. And on top of it, Barrera comes up and gets the victory here in his hometown of Mexico City as he retains his Mexican Junior Bantamweight Championship. What's ahead for him? Certainly, he's got to look across town and look at the possibility of fighting eventually Julio Cesar Barboa if he can successfully defend his title as the Junior Bantamweight Champion of the World. At least that would be his sights. He tried to set on him right here in Mexico City. But for the moment, he'll be certainly gratified with this Mexican junior bantamweight belt that once again is around his waist. And how about this guy? He's getting a nice round of applause from his hometown fans here in Mexico City as Santiago certainly fought and fought very well. The only question was, as he came on strong, particularly in round 7 through 12, where was that when he really needed it? But nonetheless, Marco Antonio Barrera successfully...
Weight Championship here tonight on our World Championship Boxing from El Torreo in Mexico City, Old Mexico.